all have to find our bliss. It comes and goes. For some it's blades on blades and oceans upon oceans. It comes and goes. You never know where you're going to find it. Sometimes it's just luck, kindness of friends. Repetition, patterns, contemplation. Pure bliss. For me, it's always been animals. any pocket that I can find where I can be around them. It just makes me realize why I'm alive. Since childhood, it was always the animals that saved me. Hello. Hello. It's so awesome. You're beautiful. Oh, yes, you are. You're just beautiful. Problem was, I couldn't save all of them. I miss my dog, Ruby, and sometimes I just feel like I'm biding time. But I'm working on another project about that love and that loss. But I try and do the best I can and find those pockets. Melissa, how did you get so lucky? You guys are in... Needed to get rid of them, so we kind of rescued them, I guess. You're a rescue goat. Some people may not understand, but my dog Ruby was my first experience where I could love a creature, a being, fearlessly, with every fiber of my being. When you're a child, your parents kind of call the shots when it comes to your pets. So many of ours were victims of that 1970s tsunami of parental dysfunction. Ruby didn't come into my life until my early 30s. And she healed all that. In the 15 and a half years that I had her, I was like I was able to go back and forgive myself as a child for not being able to protect my animals, for not being able to control what happened to them and the outcome, how they ended up. I mean, she healed all that wretched childhood trauma. There's always this weird duality in my childhood of a complete magical world provided with the animals and loving them with the heart of a child. It was so pure, but things at home were pretty dark. In my early 20s, I just kind of shut down to a lot of things, but animals in particular, there'd been a lot of damage done. It was just so apparent. Everything went dark for about a decade. One day Phil found Ruby at the pound and brought her home and, and that was that. I fell in love. It's hard to explain, but it was pure bliss. I don't recall ever being happier. kind of love just elevated me. 
and made me love everything all that much more. There are a lot of reasons it was hard for me to trust in love, to allow myself to become attached to anything, let alone a creature that was totally dependent on me. I see her in everything now. She's everywhere. To explain the weight of the missing, how a dog can figure into your life on that level of some humans. It's not just loss, it's more a question of love I mean, what do you do with all that love? Where does it go? Blades upon blades, oceans upon oceans. We've got a job to do.